Okay, then welcome. Welcome, we can start with a pro um, update webinar. Okay, uh, we work all the time on uh, Future at Pro 2.0 platform. We have a lot of issues, uh, technical issues which we solved, uh, but I know we have also a few which it's wait and we work on that. Uh, but for sure you can uh, you can see that there's a lot of lot of problems it's solved and the platform work much 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 better than uh, than before or life is life and it is it sometimes i don't understood why it's happened but it's happened yeah um, okay we have here a short summary from 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 last uh, weeks uh, from last week, which, which we solve uh, and bugs and what what uh, what its weight on the on the list uh, to fix it. But we work on that, and uh, we will finish everything uh, uh, step by step. But I, I saw that we have uh, much much more or more or less uh, tickets. It's mean it's work and it's it's go in the right direction uh, in future at pro with the technical uh, problems. Yeah, future at pro. Okay, then go uh, to the second presentation here. The Just global the update. Yeah. Yeah. No. Ah, this one one here. Yeah. We go to the next uh, okay. presentation okay. and we speak about the whole situation and, yeah, and the solutions. Yes, yesterday we had the FutureNet 2.0 update webinar and today I know that many, many, many people are waiting for that. Future Ed Pro, where we are, where we are today, where we will go tomorrow, and what are the long-time plans for Future at Pro. And in this webinar, we will give you the answers for that. Um, we will give it uh, in a little bit technical way, but we will give you also the answers, what is Future at, what, uh, Future at Pro, what is Future at Pro not, why things are happening, why the commission now is like it is, and all the summary, uh, and uh, we will give you the, the idea of the of the new future at Pro at the end of that webinar, and that will be the, the, the topic for the next about half an hour. Yeah, let's start, Roman. Do we start or not? Yeah, start Okay. You have to be shut. Ah, okay, we are a team, team, teamwork. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what you can see here is the whole FutureNet ecosystem. And uh, very, very important is that everybody understand Future at Pro is part of this ecosystem. And everybody need to understand that the, the, the success and the power of Future at Pro depends on the success of the whole ecosystem. And we will show you later uh, in this presentation some, some pictures. Uh, pictures say more than 1,000 words. And then you will understand what I mean. Everybody is uh, is checking only or is using only Future at Pro. Then we, as the community, we have a problem. And I like it always when Roman say the FutureNet and Future at Pro and the whole ecosystem is not our company. This is your company, ladies and gentlemen. We are a global community, and we are in yeah we are a community. That that's the, that's the best word for that. And uh, when we uh, when we check. Future at Pro from the past, and you see here some statistic only from the last 78 days, then you see that Future at Pro is one of the most successful online advertising platforms. With almost 4 billion views, <coughs> this is absolutely crazy. And this is the reason why we are so successful also in, in uh, Alexa ranking and so on. And this is your success, ladies and gentlemen. When, when we speak to this, your company, of course, this is your success. And uh, of course, this is. We work now. I can yeah, add of course, some, of course, uh, of course. Uh, some, some, some news also. We work on that potential now because almost 4 billion views, as in Polish, 4 million views. Yeah? 
and this is a lot of potential, a lot of earning potential. And we add some technical uh, possibilities uh, to, to use, to better use the platform. Uh, we earn money with the advertising from beginning and um, we add some places which we speak uh, a bit later on that um, and which you can use for advertising because 4 billion views in 80 days it's a, a huge success and this is of course a huge potential to get new clients to make advertising on that platform yeah? it's, uh, please don't forget FutureNet is an advertising platform Yes, and this is the point what Roman say. Uh, we are in a social media, and uh, when you speak about social media, you always have to speak about online advertising, because as you know, the big the big uh, shots on the market is uh, always when, when the people ask how everything is for free and they make billions of over how they make the turnover. The biggest income stream is online advertising, and of course we are with FutureNet. We are a social media. Platform. Platform. What I told you yesterday, we are now online with the beta version of the of the new social media platform. We will update it from 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 week to week, and all the time you will see the you will see the progress. And then we are ready for for advertising for this massive market, 1.3 billion per day. And uh, what we have here with Future Ed Pro, this is a success story by 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 themselves. But and that brings us to the next to the next slide. What we hear from the from the market, and this uh, this is not correct, and this is not good because never ever from the company side, never ever from Upol side, never ever from the official way, somebody called it as an investment program. And Future Ed Pro is an advertising program, not. More and it, ladies and gentlemen, it is not. I told you that in update before, it is not allowed to call it as an investment program and it's not allowed to sell it as an investment program. And uh, now I, I lose my, I lose my point. Uh, yeah, it, so that, that that that's it. And all the time when. It, this guy invested here money and this guy invested money? No. Ladies and gentlemen, what people are doing on the FutureNet plat Future Ad Pro platform is they are buying advertising. That is what is the program. And next slide. The next point is many people crying why the daily commission is not at 1%. <coughs> I don't remember, Roman, that we any time promised any percents. Never ever read the old terms and conditions, look at the new terms and conditions, look to any official webinar, presentation, whatever. We never, in the almost three years now, we are online. We are three years online now uh, with the future at Pro. Never ever we promised any revenues per day. The, of future. course, this is. Uh, guys, this is company which uh, pay only that what they can pay. We pay from our profit. You are the whole structure, sell our product, use the platform, use the advertising, and we pay part of that what we uh, make uh, profit. Yeah, it's very simply. I speak at 100 times on the stage and on webinars and on meetings, live meetings, FutureNet, it's not the right company who these people who want make easy money without work. This is not the right company. Here you have to sell to earn money. This is the truth. We don't get money for free. We don't get money for nothing and we cannot print the money. We sell product, we sell advertising, we sell services. We earn money and we pay commission for that. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to bring Mr. U Paul in the webinar. You Paul, are you ready for the next slides? Yes, Stefan, can you hear me? Yes, of yes. course. Of course. 
Okay, guys. Um, the, this webinar was to, to answer some questions about Future Ad Pro, and many people have been waiting many, many months uh, for some answers on how to understand Future Ad Pro. I think it's important to go back to the beginning and understand what Future Ad Pro is and what FutureNet is. And we've had a meeting yesterday with the owners, some international leaders, because we all have questions. You know, why is the commissions low? Why is verification so tough? These are the answers that the community want to know. What about verification? What about uh, my ads aren't getting seen? What about um, the commissions are very, very low? So first of all, we must understand what FutureNet is and the vision of the owners. And years ago, when, 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 we, when we came across this company, they had incredible vision to take a social media platform. That is where the revenue comes from. It, it, it does not come from Ad Pro. It does not come from, from uh, product packs. The revenue uh, for FutureNet going forward as a social media company is to attract mainstream advertisers, all the big brands, all the big companies. And to do that, we must, um, we must have a large community to be attractive to the big uh, advertiser. So if you look at Facebook, you know, uh, their revenues are, are billions of dollars every year, uh, not coming from uh, Ad Pro or not coming from uh, any products, but coming from games and coming from advertising. So this is the format. We have an ecosystem. And the only way we're going to get revenue into the company is from using all of the ecosystem. So first of all, uh, FutureNet have FutureNet Shop. This future net shop, the profits go into the revenue. It is a source of revenue. So the community must support shopping with future net. I'm talking about future net products, branded products. The next area that brings money to the platform is from the affiliated shopping. Now in here, we have over 400 million different products, products from eBay, Amazon, Alibaba. Uh, and what happens is when the community go and shop here, Revenue comes into the company, okay? So if the community shops, it brings the revenue. If the community uses the FN shop, it brings revenue. The next area FutureNet had uh, for some countries was a leasing program. Now, this only operated in one country. It, it hasn't been over successful, but the idea was when people wanted to get a car, there was a profit come in from leasing to help the revenue with the company. The next big source, of course, is advertising. And we need advertising from outside customers. We also need advertising from any customer in online. For So if you have a bed and breakfast, if you own a hotel, a coffee shop, a car wash, if you own a network marketing business, you want some customers, maybe you're involved with coffee, maybe you're involved with uh, nutrition, maybe you're involved with uh, health products, doesn't matter. If you advertise on the platform, it brings in revenue. The company also has revenue from subscriptions. So as customers subscribe and pay fees, this brings money to the platform. We have money from games, and the company supplies third-party games, and they supply their own games, uh, augmented reality games like Coin of Mine. So we need to support the whole ecosystem to bring in the revenue. The company have coffee shops and restaurants, why? So that the members can have value, that the members can meet up online and offline, so that revenues can come in to support the model. So this is the whole ecosystem. They then introduced digital products. Now for many years, digital products was their main business. From 2012 right up to 2016, all of the business was about raising revenue through uh, digital products like cloud, like a video email, like uh, these kind of products, uh, blogging services. Now, when we try to use some of these services, they used to work quite well. But as the technology got out of date, they stopped working well because the company then focused on other income opportunities for the community. So they went then and started into cryptocurrency. So they provided crypto uh, mining possibilities with the Futuro. And again, this was to bring more revenue into the system. So when you see the slides, you will understand that FutureNet is not just one product, it is a range of products. And of course, 
the main, uh, I suppose, support from the community was from Asia. Uh, probably 80% or more of the business came from Asia, and they were focused on the digital products, not on Ad Pro. But that brings me to the slide that there was now an imbalance because what's happened is it's gone from 90% uh, of all of the products and 10% of future ad pro it then went to 50 50 and now of course It's gone to 90 10 the community has focused only on one area. Let's call it ad pro So this one area Is where all the community have moved to they're not shopping. They're not using any uh, they're not booking flights They're not leasing cars the community is not advertising themselves they're not buying ad packs they're not subscribing the community isn't going to the coffee shop the community isn't playing games the community isn't supporting the digital and product packs the community is not mining so really the community has moved all of the revenue to ad pro and they're expecting that to deliver a hundred percent and that is not possible in the economic climate so what we must do as a community is we must find new revenue streams to support the model. And that's why they've introduced applications, because apps is a big, big business. The next thing they're going to introduce is travel. Why? Because that's another big business. And the idea is that these products bring the balance back to FutureNet. Okay? Now, this is a very healthy on the screen. 50-50 is very healthy. But when it's 90%, that people want to take money out of the bucket and there's actually no revenue coming into the bucket this is the challenge so my question was to the owners i mean did you not do a billion dollars of revenue yes they did but they pay out over 80 percent automatically goes back to the community so the money has already been paid out to the community if you qualify so it's all about the community supporting the company because this company cannot work without a community the community cannot work without a company. It's almost like a marriage, you know? So you have the, the company providing the products and services and paying the commissions. You have the community using the products and services and building the ecosystem. So what we must do is we must focus on bringing new free members. That's why they're starting to offer $1 for every customer. The more customers that you can bring to the platform, the more likely it is that the big advertiser will come and advertise on the FutureNet platform. You see, advertisers have choices. They can look at Facebook with 2.3 billion members. They can look at FutureNet with 6 million members. Where would the advertiser place the money? The advertiser will move to Facebook because they have more users. So FutureNet need to grow this community from 6 million to 10 million to 50 million to 100 million. And then you will see the advertiser coming across. And this is where serious money can be earned for every single qualifying member. Last year, Facebook turned over 14 billion in its first three months. Three months, 14 billion of advertising revenue. We as a community need to get behind the company. We need to grow the community and we need to start attracting this mainstream advertising. That's where the money will come from. We need to support all parts of the ecosystem. We need to get in behind the travel program. We need Travel is an $8 trillion industry. Can you imagine? Everybody wants to travel. Everybody wants to take a holiday. We have a fabulous product to offer the world. And if we do that, that brings more revenue to FutureNet. So therefore, you will see the commissions changing. You see, FutureNet 2.0 is part of the, the whole ecosystem. Ad Pro cannot work without Future 2.0. 2.0 uh, contributes to Ad Pro, if you understand that. It's like a shop. If you have a petrol station and it only sells petrol, because of the taxes and the small margins on petrol, petrol stations cannot survive. They must sell newspapers, confectionery, groceries. They've turned into supermarkets. So it's making profits from the whole shop that make the petrol work. FutureNet is the same. Ad Pro is a small part of FutureNet, but the community have made it a big part of it because everybody is only focusing on Ad Pro. Ad Pro is an advertising platform. You pay $50 
and you get 800 views. That's it. You don't get anything else. When you pay $50, you get 800 views of your business, of your service, of your product, of your website, of your Facebook account, whatever it is you want to advertise, you get 800 views guaranteed. We can guarantee them because we're getting billions and billions and billions and billions of views. So we can guarantee the product. Well, how do you make money from AdPro? That's a different part. AdPro pays money for qualified customers that watch a minimum of 10 to 20 ads a day. You see, you get paid for clicking and verifying an advertisement. You have to understand how it works. You see, if you buy 800 views, how do you know anybody saw your advert? How do you prove that somebody saw your website 800 times? You see, if FutureNet pay you for clicking, it goes from 800 to 799. If somebody else clicks on your advert, it goes to 798. If somebody else does it, it goes to 797. And it goes from 800 all the way to zero. So FutureNet will pay you for validating the contract between the advertiser and FutureNet. When you pay $50 to advertise, that's now FutureNet's money. They now pay you if you wish. It's optional. If you click and watch 10 or 20 ads a day, you start to get commissions for validating the contract between the advertiser and FutureNet. You're getting paid for clicking, not for having ad packs. You're getting paid for clicking, not for advertising. Excuse me, my, my Skype's just come up there one second. So I hope you understand that. I don't know if it's communicated properly to you, but you pay $50 for 800 views. And if you wish to watch views, you will get a commission from the company every time you, you, you click on an advert. Now, where does the money come from? The money comes from the entire ecosystem that pays back to the members. That's how it works. It's, it's, it's incredible. Now, what the company are going to do is they're going to add more products and more commissions and more potential because they want everyone to, to, to get the potential to make money. That's why FutureNet was created, to become the easiest place to make money and for you to build one structure so that FutureNet can bolt on any product and service. And you can see them doing this. They started with, with cloud, then they went to video email, then they went to uh, blogging services, then they went to advertising, then they went to games, then they went to cafes and restaurants, then they brought in Ad Pro in 2016. It was just added as a small part of FutureNet. Then they went and introduced mining in 2018. Uh, this year will be the year of travel. Next year they will introduce maybe health products. The year after, so they continue to create these opportunities. Each one of these is an opportunity for the members. You see, this FutureNet is for entrepreneurs. When you signed up for FutureNet, you agreed that you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, you, you, you understand business, you must have something to advertise. Why would you pay for advertising if you didn't want to advertise? Why would you pay for advertising if you didn't have a product or a service? When I came to FutureNet, I wanted to advertise my business. That's the only reason. I wanted to advertise my business. And then if you click ads, you get paid, which is fantastic. Lots of people have done very well. But what we must do is we must increase the revenues because the revenues are paid from profits. So we must create profits. As Roman said, they cannot make money up. They cannot uh, print money. They only share their profits for qualified customers that validate the advertisement. So that's how the program works. I hope you understand that. And maybe if I hand back to the owners, they can put some light on how we're going to increase the commissions because we want everyone to make money. And maybe the owners now can tell us how are they going to increase the commissions so that the ad pro pays out more money. This would be very exciting um, if people could learn that their uh, advertising product is safe, that their advertising revenue uh, is intact. And this is very important if we can communicate that back to the community. Thank you so much, Mr. U. Paul, for that webinar and for everything what you are doing for FutureNet. Always a pleasure to work with you. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was the answer from our global marketing director. And I go back to that slide. The answer to create the revenues is FutureNet 2.0. We know it is not 100% working yet. We will, we will go online with all these points from FutureNet 2.0 very, very quickly. And it is in our hands to <coughs> think, about, think about this community. We are all in that spaceship here. And uh, we are responsible for the, for, the, for the profit and the profit we can share with you. And that brings me back to this, uh, to this slide with the commissions. As you know, now we have, oh, moment, I go, I go one more time to this. So right now, the balance is not any more healthy. We had these three slides. Yeah, that was the beginning of the poll. Then it comes for, for a long, long, long time that was a really good balance that was healthy we could share the profit which we make in FutureNet and in all these uh, uh, revenue uh, platforms and we could share that is in future Pro. but in the last months the, the the balance goes in a bad direction and this ladies and gentlemen of course is not healthy when 90 percent people uh, get money and only 10 percent of the people are taking care about the money so that means we have now less profit to share less profit to pay to the people and we as the company we must make the decision and we are always everybody who knows uh, both of us know we are the most fair people in the world and now temporarily we made one decision we have a lot of people in future at all they already paid out a lot of money they made over the month over the years a lot of money but we have also a lot of people they believe in future ad poll, they believe in the ad packs, they bought ad packs in the last weeks, in the last months, or even longer ago, and never paid out one cent or they pay out less money than, <coughs> they, than they original paid in. And to be fair with the community, now we want to pay out as first to these guys, they are in a negative uh, uh, value from the money which they put, put in original, and what they what they uh, paid out in in commissions now, Roman, maybe a short in a short message from you to this point. Uh, yeah, my English it's not so perfect, but I, I try. Yeah, um, of course uh, on the point back to the point what uh, Stefan Hell um, a few seconds ago, we pay in the first uh, line. Can you say first uh, first level? No, no. Um, ah, uh, it's in, the, uh, in priority, in priority, in priority to the people who start his advertising, um, who who buy the advertising uh, service, and they don't get any profit uh, from the platform. Then we start first with the people, and the people who uh, pay out a lot of money with one or five and ten ad packs and have pay out much much more than he buy the services uh, temporarily stop the people yeah can you explain better in english <laughs> no i think the i think the message is clear because for for fair reasons because we speak a lot with many leaders and we have private calls we have uh, uh, zoom calls and whatever and everybody from i never get any negative feedback about this decision and this is now temporary the solution one more time, it's we are the community. We can now take <coughs> care about to ask the community for the profit. Higher profit, higher percentage per day, and no, we can no, of course higher percentage, higher commission. Higher commission. Higher commission, yeah. Higher but commission. You have to sell. You have to sell, you have to take care about the about the selling the products and then of course, we can pay more commission. So, but what about the idea that we pay you for turnover in online advertising 50%? Yes, was not a joke, was the reality. Five, zero, 50 percent for advertising in future at Pro and in future net. We will show you how that works. One more time. These Online advertising industry is one of the biggest industries in the world. 
the TV, the radio, the, the, the newspaper advertising is, is going down and down and down and down. And the online advertising is growing and growing and growing. This is a per day, yeah? 1.3 billion. Maybe we have, uh, maybe we are with old numbers here. Maybe it's already, already more, but you know what it means. It's an absolutely growing industry. We with Future Ad Co, we have <coughs> this fantastic, one of the most successful online advertising platforms. We have FutureNet as the social media platform. More people in social media, you Paul spoke about that, more revenues for the company because more advertising. And now we want to give you in a very short period of time. We can't, we can't uh, promise you anything because it's IT and it's sometimes it's not in our hands and whatever, but we will have very soon and new advertising options in future at Paul. You can sell advertising in, you can make mailings, you can promote posts, you can banners, stories, promoting profiles, pop-ups, promoting videos, whatever. We will give you a lot of options to sell advertising to other people. That is what they are doing now with the ad packs too. But many people, they don't want to click every day 10 times on the ads. They just want to make advertising on the right, on the right, for the right customers. And look, we in Future at Pro, we have very, very special customers selected. In Facebook, you can also select, you can make target advertising and so on. But here you can make it target advertising, of course. But you, we also we know that the most people, they are watching your ad, they are interested in making money online. They are interested in building business online. They are, they are very, very special people. And you have the opportunity now to go your, to your neighbor, to your friends, to your family, to other strangers, whatever. You can advertise that also in the internet, that you have a fantastic advertising platform. And few words to the and to look to this platform. marketing plan. Okay, uh, I go back. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we work on that uh, since few months, and end of this week we have uh, the, the the end solution with the prices and with the whole marketing strategy, which we uh, share in the next uh, webinar, uh, probably end of next week, uh, or we send a newsletter. Yeah, and now. Uh, Everybody, when we, when we start with the with the new features on Future Ad Pro platform, everybody can start the, uh, selling also the advertising to to the companies, to neighbor companies, to maybe to own company. Maybe you work in some company, and really we show you and we 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 give a proof that the social media it's so strong and that the advertising Future uh, Future Ad Pro advertising platform. It's so successful, yeah? Almost 4 billion views. This is really, really attractive platform to sell the advertising to the clients. And we start uh, with new option, new, uh, how to say in English? Yeah, option. And uh, we give you new opportunity to make more money and to make future ad pro stronger. And this is the next slide. Now it's marketing, it's your part. <laughs> yes, and uh, as you know, we have in FutureNet 2.0, we have now this fast start bonus and the same marketing plan we are using here. That means when you bring somebody with $100 to Future Ad Pro advertising platform, not ad packs, of course, $100 real advertising in the different ways which we showed you on the slide before, you earn 50%. So first level, these are your first, your own customers. Somebody in your first level is doing it, you earn 10%, then 10%, five, five. So we have five level deep, a very, very, very attractive marketing plan. Think about these $1.3 billion per day. There are companies, they are searching for where we can put our advertising. This is the reality. They are searching for good platforms where they can make advertising. And it's now in your hands to bring these kind of customers to FutureNet. And we will also have 20, when you, uh, when you make a summary here, then you see we pay out 80% in commissions. And the other 20%, they are not going to the company, they are not going to Roman and Stefan or whatever, 
No, we will put these 20% in the future at pro profit, which we can pay out in kind of commi in, in, uh, uh, yeah, in commissions back to you. So that means one more time, the same message, one community. We all together, we all together have it in our own hands how successful is Future at Pro. And it's absolutely in our hands to make it so profit, profitable like it, like it was before. When we find the right balance again, we as the community, uh, it's also in your hands, ladies and gentlemen, when, some, when you hear to somebody, they also think about taking money out, taking money out, taking money out. Stop them and ask them, hey, come on, what are you doing to bring profit to the company? You Paul make uh, on, on his flip chart, he make, he make the list of all these, all these things which, which are bringing profit to the company. And it is in our hands. We are the community to take care about it. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you.